Well, we spent most of the time in America um, up until about a year ago, and then we went back to England. Uh, we went down to Wales to a castle. Went, stayed there for about a month, two months. Just thought about what kind of music we were going to do, what we were going to get into. And then we went to uh, France to the Chateau, did some backtracks, then we went back to England again, did some overdubs, and here we are. And here again. And you have changed music, why? Well, we haven't, we haven't literally changed. I mean, it's still rock and roll. Um, it's just uh, whatever frame of mind you're in, the mood. Um, obviously, from the environment, That, that we've, that, or environments that we've been in, we've um, gathered up a lot of um, knowledge for writing, you know, writing material. And like I said, we've been to America, we've been everywhere, and I had a lot of influences, and it, uh, it, it's come out on this album. I wouldn't say, I, I think, in fact, too many people uh, get, uh, have got the wrong impression that that we think. You know, I mean, they've got the wrong impression that they think that we've suddenly just changed. We didn't change. Our lifestyle changed. Can you say that the music you are playing now are more serious than you played before? Um... No, I think we've always taken everything seriously. It's just that uh, we, we're very much involved. I have to go back to the writing again. We're very much involved with writing the material that we're um, influenced by people and places we've been. As before, it was very commercial. It was still serious, but it was commercial, and it was for commercial use. The recent album, wasn't basically aimed for commercial purpose it was it, it was a, in fact it was a relaxation to do the album was was a lot of fun and a lot of enjoyment it was exactly what we wanted to do does that mean that uh, you're not satisfied with the albums you made before this last one oh we were satisfied with them but they were just i mean uh, i should say they were just put toothpaste but um no they were they, they were basically commercial rock and roll. Obviously it's an advanced desk that we used because life goes on, as the song says. Um, we used a lot more people, a lot more musicians, and got a lot more involved musically um, with script and writing whereas on singles and previous things that we've done they've been very basic very simple purely for commercial use this the, the tracks on the album weren't aimed at being purely commercial they came from the heart what kind of songs are easiest to write the commercial songs or the songs which you have on this album Oh, I think a five-year-old kid can write a commercial song, personally. That's, that's my opinion. Well, I wrote when I was five, and I have a th three-year-old daughter that can write pretty well. So there you go. She makes them up every morning. It was sweet, some weird poor silver bird, anthem number one. Love is like oxygen och intervjuade var Arthur Ringert, den han intervjuade Brian Connolly.